Dendrocnide moroides, also known as the stinging brush, mulberry-leaved stinger, gimpy stinger, the suicide plant, and moonlighter, is a plant within the nettle family and is common to Indonesia and rainforested areas in the northeast region of Australia. It has tiny stinging hairs which cover the entire plant and, when touched, delivers a potent neurotoxin. Each tiny hair has a small bulb on the tip. When touched, these penetrate the skin and break off while simultaneously injecting the toxin. It is the most toxic of the Australian species of stinging trees. The fruit is edible to humans if the stinging hairs that cover it are removed. It usually grows as a single-stemmed plant reaching 1 to 3 meters in height. It grows several large heart-shaped leaves around 12 to 22 centimeters long and 11 to 18 centimeters wide. The species is unique in the genus Dendrocnide in that its few male flowers are surrounded by female flowers. The flowers are small and once pollinated, the stalk swells to form the fruit. The fruits are juicy and mulberry-like, hence the nickname the mulberry leaf stinger, and range in color anywhere from bright pink to purple. They also contain dense hair-like structures capable of injecting a toxin. Contact with the leaves or twigs causes the hollow, silica-tipped hairs to break off, penetrate the skin, and inject toxins. The hairs cause an extremely painful stinging sensation, which can last from several hours to one to two days. This pain can be reoccurring to a lessening degree for several months afterwards, whenever the area is touched, exposed to water, or subjected to temperature change. The injured area becomes covered with small red spots joining together to form a red, swollen welt. The hairs are also believed to be released into the air when the plant is cut or cleared in large areas. Workers without respiratory protection have reported sneezing, runny noses, mild nasal bleeding, and throat irritation while cutting or clearing. Ernie Ryder, who was slapped in the face and torso with the foliage in 1963, said, For two or three days the pain was almost unbearable. I couldn't work or sleep. Then it was pretty bad pain for another fortnight or so. The stinging persisted for two years and recurred every time I had a cold shower. There's nothing to rival it. It's ten times worse than anything else. The sting does not stop several small marsupial species, including the red-legged patty melon, as well as several insects and birds from eating its leaves. 